So today we got some pretty big news for any fans of The Witcher 3 as they're going to be adding the Red Kit playtest to help out with creating mods for this game. So there's already a pretty extensive crew of people working on mods for Witcher 3 right now, but uh, CD Projekt Red is going to be making it a lot easier for creating modding software for the game, which is interesting. I guess there's two sides to this that I wanted to talk about today. So this game has come in, it came out almost 10 years ago. It came out in 2015. So is this game too old for a modding community? My vote is no, I don't think so. But I think a lot of people online are under the assumption that older games don't, won't get as many mod supports for them. But one thing that's for certain is if you look at Nexus mods, we'll even just go on there uh, right now and look at the top games. There's only a couple that came out recently so if we look at the top ones we get skyrim skyrim fallout fallout stardew valley cyberpunk finally a new game and this is also another cd project red game oblivion fallout 3 witcher 3 so this is in one of the top games baldur's gate 3 which came out this year out of all these games cyberpunk and baldur's gate 3 are the only games that have come out in the last 10 or in the last few years in the 2020s so that itself speaks volumes um and there's games like Blade and Sorcery, which are heavily dependent on the modding community. But The Witcher 3 has a lot of games that are a lot of mods for it. And there's 141 million downloads for them. So that is still pretty active. That's beating out Baldur's Gate 3, uh, which does have a huge modding community as well. But uh, it's just interesting to see that uh, Witcher 3 is still very popular. So I don't think it's too late for this to happen. I think this is actually a, it's a decent time. It could have came out a little bit sooner. This does give me hope that there will be something similar, a red kit for Cyberpunk 2077, because as you can see there, it's it's even more popular than Fallout 4 right, or Fallout 3 for modding right now. Uh, it's just tailing behind Stardew Valley, which I know has an extensive modding community. So I'm excited to see the future for modding. I think modding games is it's great for keeping the game's shelf life extended, and I think that all developers should look towards the modding community because it just helps keep the game alive, and it makes it even more fun, and just the ridiculous things that you can do in mods is really nice. Now, there are some gaming companies that don't like mods whatsoever, and they'll actively go to shut those down, and I think that's just bad business because mods will keep the game alive for a long, long, long time after uh, any non-modded game would live, so... The thing with mods is some people buy it because they saw a funny mod on YouTube and they wanted to go play it. So I think this is fantastic for Witcher 3 and I'm excited to see what's going to come from this because there is a pretty extensive Witcher 3 modding community. I'm just going to go quickly browse about the top uh, ones here. Like an HD rework, updating the maps, uh, weight limit mod. There's a bunch of different quality of life, but also there's some new content on here as well. And... Uh, I think it's going to be exciting to see what new stuff people come up with for this because there's the sky's the limit when you open up modding with a playtest thing like this. So uh, Steam Workshop Beta, they're working on tools to help update this and it's going to be coming soon. But this is some pretty big news for anyone that is a fan of The Witcher because there's going to be more content coming soon. If you've never played The Witcher 3, now is the perfect time to give it a shot because... It's just a great game and a very legendary RPG. So let me know in the comments what you think of all this because it is quite interesting to see. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.